There is an issue facing the Russian military, and it's not Ukraine. It appears that ever since the fall of the USSR, Moscow has repeatedly promised stealth fighters and other weapons of war but has failed to deliver any in any significant quantities. An excellent case in point is the MiG-1.44 Covert Aircraft Development Program. Few people, if any, outside of aviation enthusiasts are likely to be familiar with the history behind the Soviet MiG fighters moniker. A prevalent misconception is that it is a truncation of Mikoyan, the company that makes it. While the M does represent the Bureau's founder, Artem Mikoyan, the G truly represents the Bureau's principal deputy, Mikhail Gurevich. The I represents the Russian term for and, so MiG. Some of MiG's aircraft over the years have hardly been considered make it great, so it's reasonable to say the company's name hasn't always stood for what it does. The design team's approach to airplane development was more incremental than revolutionary. The Mikoyan Gurevich MiG-9, a jet fighter from the first iteration created after World War II, is a prime example of this. It was essentially a routine turboprop plane modified to accommodate a jet motor. Evolutionary designs, many of which were made in response to the most advanced aircraft in the West, were used by the Soviets for a long time and are still used today. One plane, though, remains a possible game-changer. The MiG-1.44 NATO reporting name Flatpak was a failed Mikoyan Project 1.44. The Mikoyan Project 1.44-1.42 was the Soviet Union's answer to the U.S. Air Force's advanced tactical fighter. It was first made as a technology demonstration by the Mikoyan Design Bureau ATF. Many experts agree that the F-22 Raptor, the product of the advanced tactical fighter ATF, project, is among the finest fighter planes ever built. The MiG-1.44 would have advanced avionics, stealth technology, super maneuverability, and super crews, all of which are found in fifth-generation jet fighters. It was designed to succeed the popular Sukhoi Su-27, designated flanker in NATO reporting. Cost overruns and other delays are typical of Kremlin projects from the end of the Cold War, and construction on this one started in the 1980s. Sadly for the Soviet Union, U.S. President Ronald Reagan had launched an expensive arms race that they had no chance of winning. But Moscow deserves some credit for trying to make such an advanced plane in the first place. One of these projects was 1.44 or 1.42, which looked good on paper but had to be put off over and over again because there wasn't enough money. 1.42 was the name of the project itself and 1.44 was the name of the aerodynamic test airframe that was made for the project. Only two prototypes are said to have been made. It was said to be a state-of-the-art plane with a built-in weapon bay, but the model that was shown had its weapons on pylons on the outside of the plane. Proposed specs included a maximum speed of about Mach 2.6, or about 1,716 miles per hour. After the fall of the Soviet Union, Moscow cancelled the program because of the high cost per unit, and work on the project has since ceased. Still, there was a momentary resurgence of interest in the initiatives. After being delayed for nine years, the MiG-1.44 eventually took to the air in February of 2000, but the project was formally scrapped later that year.